Oh, you're probably gonna need a net, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> oh! That's oh! a big one, dude! Oh, oh, buddy! Smoking me, dude! Smoking me, bro! <laughs> Welcome back, guys. It is a pretty chilly day on the lake. Bob is out there. Today, we are going to target crappie, and at the end of this video, we're gonna make crappie cakes. Crappie cakes like crab cakes, but we have a really good game plan today. This is probably the most detailed and foolproof game plan that we've ever come up with on the lake. You might see some trout and bass today, as well as the crappie. If the bass bite goes off, I'm gonna switch over so you might see different setups there. If we get crappie, Bob's gonna tie on his crappie rod and he's gonna catch some crappie with me. And uh, if that all fails, we're gonna troll for trout and get some of those on board, but we definitely wanna see some crappie and some bass today. So Bob's on the phone with somebody who won a tournament here. He's uh, getting some valuable intel on those bass while I'm sitting on the back of the boat, two pound test, trying to figure out where these crappie are. Right, well, so we're gonna do this for a little while and whatever info he picks up is gonna help target the bass. And again, that's what he's doing. And if the bass bite really come, goes off, I think that's what I'm gonna end up switching to. But yeah, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Let me just show you what I'm doing with my life right now. <laughs> Right now I got, this is an eighth ounce, eighth ounce jig head, chartreuse with a combat jigs, little drop shot deal right there. And then a trout magnet in orange right above. Crappie will hit that, but what I'm hoping for is to hook a monster trout and uh, have some fun on this two pound test. Really light line, looking at a 1500 uh, reel and a uh, Berkeley ultralight spinning rod. Uh, go so this is gonna be fun. Hopefully we hook up. Okay, it doesn't really qualify, but it's a skunk off the boat, but look at how cold and white that fish is, guys. I am determined to get a crappie. Determined. You get at least like three of them for some good crappie cakes. Bob's already caught two bass, kind of covering water at this point. He's trying to put together a pattern which uh, he has a little bit. He's trying to eliminate the shallow water right now. But while he's doing that, I'm casting into a little bit deeper water. See if I can't get this crappie bite to go off. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it worked, guys, it worked. We need five times that size. It's not it's a oh, I thought it was a trout. It's not as big as I thought it was. They keep on getting bigger. I thought it was bigger, bro. It felt bigger. Yeah, it's okay. So we're switching up the game plan. I am not having any luck on just the jig and the two pound test. So desperate times call for desperate measures and it's time to troll with two pound test. Let's see if trolling with two pound test is even possible. Something tells me this can lead to some heartbreak, but it's gonna be worth it. I definitely wanna try to hook up on something big with this and feel it run. That's, that's the biggest thing, so. Uh, we're gonna switch it up. It's about noon. We're gonna start trolling. 
Bob already got his fix, he says. Bass fix is accomplished. All right, this one's heavy. This one's got a half ounce on it. And then we're gonna put down the two pound test. Two pound test about to go down. Trolling two pound test. Jeez, that's gonna be an awesome fight if we can make something happen on this. Oh yeah, it's possible. That one's lower in the water column. We'll see how this does. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Oh my God. Oh, he's jumping. Oh my God, like This is on, oh no. He's still on, he's still on. Oh boy. On the two pound test. Can't horse him, but I want to make sure that hook is set. <laughs> I know, let's land him. I gotta land this guy. Oh, he's coming. No, don't go. No, don't go up. Come on, get up here. Oh, shoot. She knows. No, 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 no. Come here, come here. Oh, oh, she's close. Come here, come here. Oh. oh, shoot, she's nice. Oh, she's bigger than I thought. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on the two pound test. That's a nice one. Thanks for the net job, Bob. Yes, sir. Gorgeous trout right there. Well, if we don't get any crappie, we're gonna make some trout cakes, okay? So what Bob's doing, since the main engine trolls so fast, he actually is on the trolling motor right now, going two miles an hour. Earlier with the motor going, we were going about three, three and a half. So hopefully with the slower speed, we could still pick up some crappie. That's the goal. But you're next, so. Oh! oh! How much deeper do you think it's really? Oh, that's a good one, Bob. That's a good one. Oh! Dude, we're doubled up, bro. Are we? Yeah. We're doubled up. Oh, shoot. God. Here, bro. We just doubled up, Bob. And mine's a crappie, bro. Mine's a crappie. Oh, <laughs> this is insane. This is insane, guys. Oh, look at <laughs> <laughs> this is insane! Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that crappie! Yeah. That's a monster crappie! What the heck just happened? That is the most epic thing that just happened right now. We just doubled up. How was that, Bob? Awesome. <laughs> I was just trying to bring, your rod bring my rod in, and I had a crappie. Dude, that's game changer. Trolling with the trolling motor, Bob. So no matter what, you've got two trout, so you've got trout cakes no matter what. But we need at least one more crappie that size in order for you to get your crappie cakes. So we will continue and we'll, we'll get them, we'll get them. On the turn. Oh, there you go, there you go. Woo, Bob's on the two-pound turn. 
you set it on the turn and then it goes and it hit on the perfect rod too yeah exactly i was telling bob that no matter what if that thing if this one gets hit again it's his now he gets to enjoy the fight oh you're probably gonna need a net huh <laughs> eventually <laughs> oh that's a big one dude that's a big one bro oh my god oh dude it just jumped right now oh that thing is huge it was big. That's a big end, bro. That's a big end. Bro. Bro. Let me, get, let me get up there. Put that trolling motor down. We may have to we may have to go for a little have to go for a little ride. Oh buddy! Smoking me, dude! Smoking me, bro! <laughs> oh no! Dude, he saw the boat and it just took back all the line that you just gained. And he's on the trolling motor, so this is perfect. Oh, dude. Dude. Cleaner. There's fish. Oh my god. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Oh no. He wasn't ready. Oh, buddy. It's like a five pounder, dude. Oh, bro, toe, bro, toe, bro, toe. Oh my toad. God, toad on the two pound, bro. Look at that toad on the two pound, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, buddy. Wow. On the two pound, boys. On the two pound. On the two pound test. Oh, that thing's got to be close to five pounds, dude. Cool, dude. That's epic, bro. How was that? That was gangster, bro. How, those runs were freaking screaming. Dude, they were screaming. <laughs> Guys, that alone made this whole thing worth it. Oh my gosh. That thing got close to the boat. Got close to the boat again and then dove again. Oh, dude. Oh. I was scared. I was scared of like not being able to net that thing. Oh, so much going on. That was pandemonium. Let's keep doing it again. Let's do it again. That's a big one. A big trout. Oh, oh trout. Oh. Oh. Yes. Good trout. Another good one. All right. Ladies and gents. Oh. Oh, almost in my face, dude. Crappie? Woo! Crappie cakes. Crappie. Yeah, crappie. Yeah, <laughs> I'm planning on doing a few crappie cakes and a few trout cakes, so. Oh, fish, fish. Both, both. Oh, just got a fish. Just got a fish right there. Bam. Pump, wind, pump, wind. Who would have thought trolling two pound test actually works? Oh, shoot, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Nice, gorgeous, gorgeous. See, that was one of the things that I was like really worried about is will the two pound test be able to bury that hook? And it can, it definitely can. Well, that was pretty good for a uh, not very long time of fishing. What was it, Bob? Uh, about three and a half to four hours of trolling. But we we did good. Six bass, six trout, two crappie, missed many bites. Um, I think the only thing I could have really asked for was a, a bigger bigger bass. I wish I could have a five pounder or something today. But uh, yeah, we lit them up. It was a 
epic day. We hit the trifecta in full effect. <laughs> it was pretty, pretty great. Bass, trout, and crappie all in one day. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the kitchen where we make these crappie and trout cakes. But any final words, Bob? Uh, you guys keep tight lines, man. Peace. It's time to make some crappie cakes and trout cakes and see if they taste good. It's really inspired by the last episode with Papa Leroy and him making those crab cakes after we skunked. Those crab cakes came out really good. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a different recipe because we don't have crab, we're gonna use fish and to pair with the crappie cakes and the trout cakes, we're gonna make a deconstructed sort of guacamole, uh, just so you know. Uh, we're on a little bit of a health kick. Um, other than the mayonnaise and all that stuff that's gonna go into the crab cakes, we're staying pretty healthy. Your boy's down 10 pounds. Pretty stoked about that. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and start cooking. It's a super simple recipe. Follow along. That is a fat crappie. That is a nice fish right there. Maybe. Not a fan of crappie. So we'll hit it with that blackened magic seasoning. I couldn't find any Old Bay. Old Bay would have been better, but it's okay. All right, now that they're cooked pretty much all the way through, I'm gonna cut the heat, kinda let it rest there while I get the sauce. We're gonna make a simple aioli. Some mayo there, and our garlic, some lemon. Looking real good. Oh yeah. Break up our fish a little bit. And then we'll add our flour and our panko just so that we can shape it. And we're also going to add a little bit of egg white to each. They don't seem to be sticking together very well, but once that egg starts cooking, it should start stiffening up. Okay. Explain what we have here. So we have a very rustic cucumber, avocado, and tomato salad with some onion chopped in there. We have some... She's a... <laughs> a cat. <laughs> when she's doing bad stuff, we spray her. All right. Sorry. <laughs> So um, cucumber, tomato, avocado salad with just a little bit of onion in there. And then this, the dressing is a sesame oil with a little lemon juice and pepper and salt and a basil, pesto basil mix in there. Mm -hmm. It's just a whole mashup of flavor. Mm, mashups mm. of flavor. Yes. Love mashups of flavor. And then, then up top. Up top we got... One is a crappie, Crap crappie cake. cake, and then one is a trout cake, which we caught earlier today. It was awesome. Which, by the way, we gave that really big one to my dad. We stopped by his house. He was super stoked to have a big four-pound trout caught on two-pound test. He's going to make 
some trout soup with that. Um, but anyway, mm. we wanted to try this again, inspired by Leroy's recipe for his crab cakes. And then we wanted it on top of something healthy because of course this is a fried dish. So we're gonna see if it is different or you know how how are they different? Which one's better, the trout or the crappie? So mm. go ahead and grab a forkful and we'll see. So this one I think is crappie, right? It's hard to tell. Yeah, it looks yeah. crappie. So it's a white meat. A little avocado. I'm a combo biter, remember? Mm-hmm. Mmm. It's really good. There's a little crisp to it. And then the creaminess from the mayonnaise pops through. And then the seasoning seasoned well. It sounds really crispy. Good. So that's the crappie. That's the crappie. I'm gonna try the, oh. All right, I, I think this is trout. I'm gonna stick with the crappie for a minute. It was really good. Nope, this is trout. Yeah, this is trout. It's a little more pink, huh? Oh, I like it. Was it good? I'm not just saying that either. <laughs> that is, oh, That's I'm good. digging it. Mm. That's definitely trout. This one's crappie. Mm. You haven't bitten the trout yet, right? No. Mm. The trout's really good. I miss my crappie. The onions pop through. That crunch is amazing mm -hmm. from the panko. We've really been eating, sticking to salads and just grilled fish for the last like week and a half. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But it's so yum. A fried crunch. Oh, it's so good. So good. So mm. good. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, we've been on a, on our workout game and dieting game. Mm -hmm. There's actually a little side bed at my work. Does this count as a cheat meal? This does. This is a cheat meal because there's mayonnaise and there is a bunch of panko and flour in it. So. Oh, it's wheat flour too. Mm, it's wheat flour. It's a little healthy. Mm. Oh, that's bomb. It's super good. Some of that salad. And by rustic, with a cucumber salad, it's just it's chunky cuts. All right. Like avocados in like chunks. Mm -hmm. oh, that's so good. And this, the salad was actually inspired by Bob, Bobby, and his wife always have this. And I think, Bob? I think we did it okay. I think we did it well. Mm -hmm. Let us know, Bob. Has our little twist to it. Okay. <laughs> now the crappie. This is pure crappie cake. Be prepared to be amazed, honey. Yeah. That's super good. The creaminess pops more on the crappie. The creaminess does pop more on the mm -hmm. crappie. The crappie cakes, hands down. Just one bite. That's all it took. Just one bite. Mm -hmm. Crappie is so good. I missed it. It's been a while since we've had crappie. Too bad we only got two. Yeah. I guess we're going to have to go get more. <clears throat> but that was really game changer, slowing down the troll speed earlier and being able to get the crappie to bite. The trout definitely hit when you're going a faster speed but the crappie are a bit slower so once we slowed down on that trolling motor that's when we were able to get these crappie i think there's an episode from way back when when we made crappie tacos was it crappie tacos yeah yeah was it fresh on the boat or was that trout yeah it was on the boat we were with henry and easter yes when we made crappie tacos fresh on the boat really good i love crappie Crappie is so good. Oh, I think it's an underrated fish. Mm -hmm. This was a big... These two crappie made three crab cakes. Not... Crappie cakes. Itty bitty. Like, massive crab cakes are like as big as a face. Mm -hmm. And they're thick. Thick cakes. Super good. Mm. All about those cakes? Mm -hmm. But... Hands down, crappie cakes over trout cakes. Mm -hmm. The trout's good, but I mean, I'm, like my crappie one's almost done. So guys, if you get into what Leroy calls a mess of crappie, you guys got to try this mm -hmm. recipe. Got to try this recipe in honor of Papa Leroy. Mm -hmm. Man, this mm -hmm. episode was really fun. It was really rewarding for me and Bob. 
We haven't bass fished in so long. Finally get on a good bass bite and topped it off with some monster crappie and trout. That explains why you were on the lake so long. It's called productive fishing. When you can feed me, it's productive. <clears throat> yeah. Bass fishing is unproductive. You're still enjoying it though. Mm-hmm. We'll catch you guys later. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>